can't believe it is finally here. It's the end of March. It's amazing that the first quarter of the year has flown by like this. And we're on our way to Melbourne in just a couple of hours. So Mark and I are going away for four days to the Formula One at Melbourne. I'm so excited. I haven't been to Melbourne since 2019. I think it's been even longer than that since Mark has been to Melbourne. So I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys a quick little pack with me in this video today. And I'm so excited. You guys have been asking me for ages to go check out more of Australia, explore more of Australia. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys. This is going to be so much fun. So without further ado, let's do a quick little pack with me. Grab a Bicky, grab a cuppa, and let's get right into this video. So I don't think I could do an affiliate link, but I can link this down below. I got this from Strand Bags. This is my first time using this bag. Um, let's just say the luggage that we took over to Philly was a little disastrous when a Bundy bottle broke and little tiny glass shards ended up everywhere. So I got a new luggage set, which kind of matches Mark's, even though his is a different brand. And I love the blue in this. The suitcase seems sturdy. I will let you guys know throughout the trip or when we come back how the suitcase holds up. But I actually don't have anything in this zipper part down here. It's a little tough to get into. Like if you have a folder with slips of paper or something, this is going to be perfect. But unlike my old bags, this one I have a little bit of trouble actually getting anything into. Up here, though, there is a little bit of storage. And the only thing I have stored up here, actually I have two things stored up here apparently. I have a hair tie, which I didn't know was there. But I also have a luggage scale. I will link this down below. Guys, if you travel whatsoever, this thing is worth every single penny. It's not expensive either. I got it, I think, for like 21 22 bucks off of Amazon. We're flying Qantas and we're flying domestic. So there's a 10 kilo limit on suitcases. You can have a second bag, but they can't equal more than 14 kilos total. I've actually never flown Qantas. This is gonna be my first time flying them. So I don't know if they actually measure carry-on bags or not. So better safe than sorry. I brought a scale. I definitely use that for international trips or anytime I'm bringing a checked bag though, because we all know they're strict with checked bags. And for anyone who's asking, yes, I'm wearing shorts under this, thank you very much. So this is the packed suitcase. It took me a little while to figure out what outfits I want to wear and make sure everything was good to go. So this section I like because it comes with two smaller little subsections instead of like one big one. So in here I've got my tripod because again the whole reason I'm going on this trip is so that way I can film content for you guys. I'm excited but Melbourne probably wouldn't have been like my first choice if I just wanted to like pick some random place and go to Australia. Um, so we're doing it because of the Formula One. <laughs> I was also thinking like, okay, what are actual events that happen around Australia that I can go to instead of just let me pick a random place on a random weekend. So Melbourne and Formula One, it'll be my first time. I'm really excited. And hopefully this won't be my first trip around Australia this year. I have a pair of thongs mostly for the hotel room. It's going to be a little bit like chilly compared to what we've been dealing with. I think the highs it's going to get is 21 when we're in Melbourne this weekend. And of course it's cloudy and of course it's Melbourne. So, you know, all four seasons in one day. Up here I've got a bunch of little odds and ends. I've got a comb. I've got deodorant. I have like face pads for my micellar water and stuff like that along with q-tips. A small little emergency kit. I've taken this on just about every international trip. I'm surprised I haven't needed to use this yet but I'm wearing mostly black clothes to this trip so it might actually come in handy this time around. And this is just a portable lint roller travel size nice and friendly. Hopefully I won't need it, but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And weird because it says hemp on the cover, but these are actually facial blotters because I have very, very oily skin. And we're going to be outside moving around a lot and I'll have sunscreen and stuff like that on, which just makes my skin so much more gracie looking than I want it to be. So since again, we'll be filming a lot, I wanted to bring a couple of these. I have a brush and I also have a travel razor. I absolutely love this thing. It has a couple little holes in it too, so that way it can actually breathe and you don't end up like mildew or really rusty razor blades. So that's it for that section. Let's get to this because this is where the magic happens, I guess. So here I have my little makeup kit. I've shared this before when I go on international trips, but it's actually two sections. I've got makeup wipe removers. I've got little brushes and whatnot in the top section. It does come with a little mirror, but I never actually use it. I always use the one in the hotel room. And then in here I have the actual makeup that I'm bringing along. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing any makeup on this trip, but again, I have the space. I have the weight that I could play around with, so better to have it and not need it, and then need it and not have it. 
Along with that is a curling wand because I plan on doing my hair. I know you can't tell right now, but the weather today is just not cooperating with my hair, so I wasn't too fussed about curling or straightening it, so it is what it is today. But the rest of the trip, I'm hoping to actually curl it and look relatively nice. I will link these down below. I'm obsessed with these. I know they're technically jeggings or whatever people want to call them. Um, basically, jeans leggings. These are not actual like, denim fabric, but these are so comfortable. They look like denim. There's a little bit of a flare at the bottom. They're flattering. They make my butt look good. And if it gets too cold, everything else I've packed is short. So I at least have a pair of long pants that will go with every top that I brought with me. I could have put this in a compression queue, but it was actually just a little bit easier to lie this flat on top of everything else. In case you guys wanted to know who were actually both supporting, Mark and I support the same person. Um, I assume if you're Australian and you follow Formula One, you guys probably support Oscar Piastri as well. Um, I know there are some Aussies out there that also support Danny Ricardo, but we are Oscar Piastri in this household. So that is also coming with me. Glasses, because even though I don't wear them on camera, I wear contacts all the time. I have vision issues. I just realized that my comb is not in the pouch it's supposed to be in. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So yeah, my glasses, because I definitely need those. Clothes. Now, I know that people have different ways of packing packing cubes. I'm only going for a couple of days. So for me, it was literally just throw everything that's going to fit in the two smallest compression cubes that I have, and that's what's worked for me. So there's no rhyme or reason. It's like, this in my Sunday clothes, these are my Friday and Saturday clothes. They're like, and a pair of pajamas are in here too, and all my under things. So I just crammed everything into two compression cubes, except for those jeggings that I have, and clearly it's worked fine. I also have noise canceling headphones in here. So a uh, couple months back when we found out we were going to go to Formula One, Mark went a little ham and decided to buy a bunch of things in the Formula One merch store, including noise canceling headphones. And they've got the nice little Formula One logo on the side. I've never been to Formula One. Apparently these are going to come in handy. I have no idea how loud those cars can get. So this is going to be one crazy experience, but I think if you need noise-canceling headphones, it says you're going to be in for a wild weekend. Now here I have, I don't know if it's like a windbreaker, raincoat, I don't know if it's actually waterproof or not, but a sort of windbreaker McLaren jacket, which also matches the McLaren hat, because again, Oscar Piastri is on McLaren, and that's who I'm supporting this year. Mark also supports Oscar Piastri, and he supports a few people, um, to be honest, but i we're both really hoping that Oscar Piastri is going to go far this season, and so far he's been doing well. And the last thing in here, I'm not going to open this up because I haven't opened this up, and I'm worried that if I try to open this up and can't get it back together, it's going to be a mess. But this is what it looks like. I picked up a couple of small little camping chairs because we have general admission tickets. So we don't have seats, we don't have like a designated area to sit. But you can bring camping chairs and stuff like that with you. So I bought one of these each. Mark's is in his bag. This is mine. Um, and again, like the suitcase, I will let you guys know if this was actually any good. And if it was any good, I will let you know in a later video. Along with my suitcase, I also have a backpack that I'm taking with me. I don't know if Mark's bringing his backpack. Normally if he does, it's like to bring his laptop. But with how much we're going to be running around and how few days we're there, um, I don't think we're really going to have that much downtime, especially since the days start at like 8.30, so it's enough time to like go grab brekkie somewhere, spend all day, and then afterwards go grab dinner, and then go unwind in the hotel room or see if there's anything nearby that we want to go do. So, I don't know if he's bringing his backpack or not, but I'm bringing mine just because there's a couple little extra things that I want to bring, and because of the weight limit, I want to make sure we're okay. So I know we don't really need them to travel domestically, I think, but better safe than sorry, I am bringing both of our passports, and I love the covers on these, you guys. I get so excited whenever I get to pull these out. Antibacterial wipes for the seats, for the handles, for everything that we think we're going to absolutely be touching, because we've had bad luck. So far, we've gone on two trips together, and both times we have ended up getting sick. Mainly I get sick and then Mark gets sick. So I really want to avoid that this trip and annoyingly I can feel a scratchiness in my throat that I'm hoping is just because of the weather's taken a really cold turn today and I'm not used to it. I'm really hoping that that doesn't mean I'm coming down with something because I swear if I get sick again. <laughs> I also got a little word search to something to do to kill time. I had this in my international trip and actually didn't end up using it because I slept for a little bit of the trip and read. This I don't actually need. In fact, I don't know why this is in here. I'm going to put 
put that up there on the bed and put that in with the rest of my travel stuff because that's on eye mask and earbuds and I don't need those for an hour and a half trip. Here I've got my little pill organizer. This thing is amazing. You don't need to bring an entire pharmacy with you, but this is basically like packing a whole little chemist store in your bag. And it's so small, it's neat, it's compact. Again, everything I can will be linked on Amazon if you guys are curious. Container with my medicine, including prescription stuff. And pens, because even if you're traveling domestically and don't need to fill out customs forms, always bring a pen. Now, in here I've got some jewelry, I've also got sunnies. I just realized I literally have two of the same pairs of sunnies in here, so... Um, again, I don't need these ones, so I'm going to take these ones out. I'm really glad I did this video because I am decluttering more than I thought I would. But I have a bunch of hair ties and whatnot. I will link some of these down below if you guys are curious. I got a lot of the stuff off of Shein actually. And then I picked this up off Etsy. It's a little 81. I don't know if I'm going to wear this or not, but it is really, really cute. Here are my electronics. I'm not bringing a ton of stuff with me. It's really just stuff so that way I can charge on my phone because I'm not bringing this camera. I'm going to be filming on my phone every day. But here I've got two power banks, a bunch of cords, and a couple little other cords just so that way we can charge up our phones when we're in the hotel room. All of my toiletries, there's a ton of stuff in here. Like, I could probably do an entire separate toiletries video, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But all the stuff that I'll need from head to toe to cover me for four days. Plus extras, things like contacts and whatnot, just in case. I'm hoping this is okay to bring. Um considering that it's not technically a liquid, but it's kind of a liquid. So sunscreen, Beach Defense sunscreen, because even though it's not going to be bright and sunny, I burn like a lobster. And if I spend like two days in Melbourne, even if it's going to be 20 degrees, watch, I will come back and I will be a lot more red than I am right now because I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. So that is also coming with me. Old pair of headphones that was from an old trip, pack of tissues, and a pack of Altoids. The random stuff that you find in travel things when you think you cleared it out when you got home and you didn't actually properly clear out your bag. I'm learning a lot about myself here. And I have enough space in my bag that I could cram this in there when the time comes so that way I technically only have one personal item bag with me. There goes the sunnies. I've got a little hair clip attached to the strap too. But then this is just the purse that I'm going to bring into the actual race section. Like I plan on bringing my backpack with me so that way we can bring our camping chairs and if we want to throw in like a bottle of water or anything like that, that's fine. And then I'll have my purse with me as well. Or I might just take the stuff out of the purse. I don't know. I haven't quite thought that far ahead as far as storage. Um, but I've got my wireless earbuds. I've got house keys. I've got my wallet. And then I've got my sunnies. And yeah, that is it. Everything that I'm packing for a short little trip to Melbourne. On the one hand, it feels like I'm packing a lot. But then on the other hand, I also know that I'm going to be using this stuff every day that I'm there, so it also doesn't feel like a lot. Anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. I can't believe that the time is finally here. Formula One has finally started, and we are on our way to Melbourne in just a couple of hours. So that's it for this video. If you want to see what it is like in Melbourne, follow me, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that way you guys don't miss my upcoming videos. I hope you guys like this, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!